right. Happy day three. Um, trust you're doing well today. Um, we're going to introduce another topic today as well as expand some of our running activities that we do each day. Um, hopefully make a quick video out of this and get to some drumming and some rhythm. Um, remember that day one, lesson one, was introducing all the activities. Lesson two, which was yesterday, uh, would have been talking about sound, the speed of sound, the sound is a wave, it's moving molecules in the air, um, and so on. Uh, and today, of course, is drumming and rhythm. So let's get to some of our old activities real quick and make them new again. So, triangle square. Very familiar, you do them independently, and this is going to come together with our drumming today, this whole break it apart, piece it together thing. That's part of the reason why we do this. Of course, right hand, practice that for a while, left hand, practice that for a while. Um, after that, we're going to switch. Now the triangle is in your right hand, the square is in your left. And again, we're just going to run through this real fast. So you train one at a time. Right hand now has triangle. You have triangle programming, but it's connected more strongly to your other hand. Then the square. And then we put them together. And so forth. Um, don't practice it this quickly. I've done this for years. Start slowly, and eventually you'll probably do that faster than me. Here's the next step. And this is where it gets really interesting. So we have a square in the left hand. Now we have a circle in the right hand. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go this way. Start here and go down as usual. Except you have to think of this, the circle in quarters. So as you move this way, you do that. As you do this way, you move there. As you do that way, you move there. As you do that way, you move there. What you need to overcome through some practice, some slow, slow practice, is that if you're thinking square, you're looking at the square for a moment, your right hand is going to go in a straight line and not a curve. If you're thinking circle, odds are this is going to kind of loop around like there is a circle there because they want to do the same sort of motion. So you end up wanting to slowly go like this and trace them. And I would do, again, just one at a time. And you're going to see this technique of breaking it apart come to fruition soon. So check that one out. That's an extension to that activity. Um, opposing circles. Of course, we have right-hand circle, left-hand circle. But the right hand's going away and then coming back. Left hand's coming towards you and going away. Now we're going to flip that. The right hand is going to come towards you and then go away. It's the same process, but backwards. And the left hand is going to start by going away and then coming back. So we end up with this. It's the exact opposite because we started off right hand going out like this and coming around. And now we're going this way. So again, similar programming, but we're attaching it to another part of our brain and adapting that programming and making some, some more neural connections. Um, it's important each day to do some listening, uh, to actually train your mind to Focus on what it hears. So I'd shut off all the lights, close your eyes, spend five minutes doing this, and if you're having a busy day or something stressing you out, this sounds silly, but simply cutting off all of that stimulation to your brain uh, that the eyes provide just washes over your brain, stresses you out. To cut that out is going to give you a really good break in your day. So I highly recommend doing that. Um, do, 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 do. Pitch ID. Each day, I'm going to switch to the screen here. Each day, I recommend doing a little bit of pitch ID. Each day, I'm going to keep reposting. Here's today's lesson. Um, the video is being made. That's this. Each day, I'm going to keep these continuing resources up so you don't have to go navigating around. Um, I do a little bit of the line notes. Uh, that's a line note every good boy does fine. It's an E. Where'd my volume go? There we go. Every good boy does fine. 
um, and so forth. Then you have the space notes. Face, F-A-C-E, that's an A, and that's the process. Again, like I reminded you yesterday, line and space notes, please make sure that you identify the rule first, even if you can figure it out. Really articulate and say out loud these steps. It's very important to learning. So you would say that's a line of every good boy, or every good boy does fine. That is a space note, the word face, F-A-C-E. Good, and of course you have, yep, we just did line and space. Um, go to Rhythm Trainer, do some of this, keep building your way up. Pretty soon we'll be adding more rhythms, in which case we will also add the pictures to show you, like on lesson one, what this should look like to get that to happen. But right now we're still the same as what's on lesson one. I would just practice this some. All right. So, let me get out of this. We need to work you towards some drumming today. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to start with this. We have a line up here, one here, one here. We have high, hmm, high, hmm. We go high, hmm, high, hmm, or high, hmm, high, hmm. Um, so this is practice just like any other rhythm we've done the last two days. I would change it to this though. We're going to flip our system now that we've started to feel these rhythms. We're going to go one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, four. Um, the next rhythm is going to be kind of the opposite or the inverse of that one. Mm, hi, mm, hi. Let's say that. Mm, hi, mm, hi. Or if we're following your numbers and counting and clapping, we go one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. So, so far the bottom line is one, two, three, four. The middle line is going to be one, two, three, four. And the top line is going to be a little more involved. That's Apple, 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 and apple. Apple, 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 apple. Speak it in. Apple, 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 apple. Apple, 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 apple. We're going to change it though. We're going to make it one and two and three and four. Say that with me. Ready? And one and two and three and four and. Let's clap it and speak it. Ready? And one and two and three and four. Good. So now the next step um, is we're going to put this rhythm into our right foot. So I'm going to count and stomp my foot. You just have to like on the ground move your one, two, three, four, but I'm not going to go shifting the camera around. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two. Just like triangle square or opposing circles, practice this for a moment on its own. I don't care how smart you are or how much sense it makes or how boring it might be. Programming it in the brains and letting the cells catch up and connect and hold hands up to the little neurons connecting um, will make this really strong. Here we go. So for this one, you're going to take your left hand, if you have a desk or something, and slap it on there. It's going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So make sure you're counting out loud, by the way. So we end up with stomp, slap, stomp, slap, one, two, three, four. That's what happens when we put them together. Foot, left hand, foot, left hand. Now the right hand is going to do this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the best way to practice all this is to just do this for a while. Just do this for a while. You know, put on The Simpsons or something and just do that. But then just do this. Then put these two together. Then when you've got these two going, you've got stomp, clap, 
going to build that up. And no matter how smart you are, it's going to take time to program each of those individually. And that's something that's really important about this lesson because that is how that works. Um, I'll also be posting a video below this in which I'm explaining basic drum set sort of principle with a slightly fancier rhythm if you just want a different perspective um, that I did back in March when we were at home uh, on my kid's drum set. Um, the last cool step of this, whoop, there we go is I want you to go to www.virtualdrumming.com. The link is below this video somewhere on this page. Um, when you get to it, you'll see this. Click on play for free. Uh, sometimes it takes a moment to load, especially here at school when everybody's on the internet. But once it does, it works very smoothly. The audio is humming at me. So what we're going to do is you see your drum set there, and the keys control this drum set. So you're going to go to the little lines, click on keys, and you'll see that we have all these different things. Now this is when I would pause and just play with this for a minute. It's fun. It makes the sounds. You can see what keys do what. Um, so I would pause here, and then when you come back, um, note that the kick drum or the bass drum is B. So that is the kick. The key for that is B. Um, that the snare is V. And that's the next important one. So I'll put snare. That's what this rhythm is. V. And the top rhythm is the open hi-hat, which is going to be M. Now the hi-hat is a funny name, but it's just the two symbols that come together like this, and you can control them with your foot. Uh, right now we're just going to tap them, pretend we're tapping them, and that's how that works. So we have V, V, and M. A little demonstration. Two, three. Four. I'm doing that bottom rhythm. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to switch to my snare drum. Ready? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's put them together, the bottom two lines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Two and three and four. Now, I don't expect you to put that together today. That's a lot to put together. Um, but I would check in on each of those parts. I would play around with this openly, just mess around on the drum set stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, aside from one last activity, you get all this junk out the way. Um, today, I'm going to do this real briefly. B, probably need E in that word, quick, brown, fox. That was with my dominant or my writing hand. Now, my non dominant is, in my case, is my left hand. It's the one I don't write with. I'll copy it down. Let me get that out the way. It's humming for us. And get the view back to full. There we go. Um, so we have the quick brown fox with my writing hand, the quick brown fox with my non writing hand, now last time we went to our writing hand to do the mirror image. Today we're going to skip that step. So we're going to go straight to our non-dominant hand, mirror, if you want to write it normally first so you can kind of read it. Non-dominant, mirror. It's like memo word. So we're, we took out that third line, and we just have to go straight to mirroring with our non-writing hand.
And there it is. So we've expanded our activities. Uh, we've introduced drumming. We've given you the uh, website address to where you can practice that and the means to do so. Have a great day.